Hi there, this is Al from GamingGeek.net and today we've got another uh, Retroid Pocket 3 Plus performance test. Uh, this is Siphon Filter Dark Mirror, a PlayStation Portable game. We're playing this using uh, PPSS PP version 1.15 point something, point 0.2 I think. And that's the latest version as of this recording date. So uh, it's not going to be the latest version all the time, right? Uh, so make sure you take a look at when this video was released. Um, but we're going to take a look at the settings first. So what I'm using is Vulkan for back end. Now unfortunately, uh, we can't uh, upscale this to 2x resolution because uh, there will be some stuttering occasionally. And I'm someone who wants consistent performance rather than um, great graphics, but uh, frame rate dips every now and then. Uh, so I'm going to settle for 1x. Uh, but this game looks a lot better when you use 2x resolution. And then I've got frame skipping at 1 and auto frame skip check. And that's all there is to it really. So we're going to try out story mode. And I'm going to do easy. Because, um, well, I want to see as much of the game as I can, right? So here we have uh, the Canuti Mountains, Alaska. And there you go, Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. So uh, this game, well, the franchise is like a Metal Gear Solid type of uh, series of games uh, I've never played them to be honest uh, but uh, very similar to Splinter Cell I'd say um, or similar genres right Alima Haddad all right Precision Strike Operator. LZ, I guess that means landing zone. Okay. Yeah, see, even just the, the gravelly voice. Very solid snake. By the way, you have the game uh, speed and the FPS or the frames per second there at the upper right. So the the movie uh, or the FMV is locked to 30 frames per second, I guess. You know what? Let's skip it. I'll just uh, I'll spoil you the, the details. The the movie plays well and. Really, when they, they land the plane, they're enemies, and then they make their way to the um, refinery, right? So there, red section is attacked, Kemsins, Kemsins, uh Petroleum, 
and Leanne and I, so that's Gabe Logan, they're going to infiltrate the area and uh, recon and uh, do a surgical strike, whatever that means. Alright, here you go. The graphics are going to be a little pixelated. Still pretty good looking. Okay. Alright, that's going to be a challenge. But let's take a look at the menu here. So you have your briefing, your inventory, options restart. Eliminate squad commander, open distillation uh, column fault. Use your MB-150 to take out the sniper. Alright. Alright. Where are we taking? Security card. What's this? Hold not needed. Um, what's this? Uh, Spectre. Um, OR is uh, hand to hand. MB. Alright, so we're supposed to take out this, the squad commander. So. It says MB. I don't see him. Uh, is that him? He hid. He's there. I wonder how we can zoom in. Zoom in. Nope. Oh, there you go. What the hell? All right. All right, we have one of the, the objectives done so now we have to open the uh, distillation valve whatever that means so uh, what makes this uh, great to play here we can't use the upscaling but what we can use is the right analog stick so the PSP doesn't have, uh, have a right analog stick right? Uh, it's then so aiming was uh, assigned to the face button uh, No more ammo All right, so if, if you can notice I'm not using the face buttons I'm using the right analog stick uh, to aim. It's not as good as if it had native as if it had native um, all right uh, analog stick um, support but it's better than the face button that that's something that I'll say All right. Well, you're dead. I know there's something here. Oh, wait. Uh, last time I saw some hidden files here.
Oh, well, whatever. Maybe they change uh, locations every game. Oh, what's this? Why is there like a... Smoke there. Okay. Um, where were we? We went down from here. I forgot where we are supposed to go. Uh, did we come from here? Yeah, I guess we did. So, need to find another uh, pair of another ladder, perhaps. What's that smoke there? Is this ladder? No, you know what? Let's trust the map. Alright, there's nothing there, so maybe you need to go here. So yeah, I haven't played this game. Where, where next? All right. Oh. All right. Pretty intense. I'm not sure if I've been able to keep the device in frame. Whoops. Okay, mission objective two achieved. That Leon. I don't see anyone. Select advance. Oh man. I'm not doing a good job at covering the end. I thought it was supposed to be easy mode. No way down. We've got no ammo, my goodness. Oh, there you go. Jeez.
Yeah, sure. What the hell? Sorry. Ah, uh, that the controls do take some getting used to. Alright, a little bit intense. Uh, sure move. Man, I thought that was a weapon full. Sorry guys, I'm having trouble with the game. Oh, okay, so you've got like... Where is she? Yeah, I'll... Oops, sorry. I'll do a better job this time. Alright, let's replenish our ammo. Nope, there's still more. What? Alright. Okay. Now it's episode one, part two, Red Jack. Teresa's trace the quickest route into the secure section of the facility. Blah, blah, blah. Leanne is heading, heading south on the snowcat. We've established an uplink, blah, blah, blah. I wonder if I should like use night vision goggles. Okay. 
There you go. All right, this is better. Am I getting shot at by someone? Oh, freak. Oh man, I was too focused on the enemy above. It is hard to see the enemies, so Uh, the controls uh, take some getting used to. Where was I supposed to go here? Oh, there. All right, pretty intense, uh, very complicated. What's that? I think that's a uh, hidden evidence. All right. Uh, what's this? Med kit? All right, the lights are penetrating the... A little distracting, the glares. And then they're gone, and then every now and then they, they appear. All right. Should I need... Okay. Weapons full. Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go here? Alright, here. Here, right? No. Shoot. How do we get there? Need key card, man. I don't have a key card. Not needed. So, did I miss someone with the, the key card? Looks like that's uh, gonna kill me. Oh! Uh, 
All right, what's this mean? I'm a bit stuck. Not needed. Can I blow that up? Alright, what what good did that do? Oh man, there you go. Right, at least he's got th these special goggles that tell him what he needs to do. The lights um, passing through the uh, walls are very distracting. this Found it. Good. Now you be able to the these uh, EDSU goggles are pretty handy Oh, there's an enemy. Where's that enemy? All right. Yeah, better to take him down now because uh, we've got some ammo refills here. I don't know if that's how it's going to be when you play the normal mode. Oh no, no, we're going to go down. Alright, oh. Yeah, the, the lights. Oof. Why are there so many? Like... Oh, they're upstairs. Oof. There's someone right... Man, I think I'm gonna die pretty soon. Oh, 
All right. Did I survive? Oh no, I could have used the... Alright. You know what, I think I'm gonna die here. I don't know what to do. Oh, okay. Shoot, I'm on the wrong side. Come here, man. Oh, wow, I survived. Okay, so I think that's, um, I don't think we're going to be uh, encountering any performance issues here. Aside from the, that's weird. I'm going to check something out. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna test something out real quick. Yeah, I think we've seen enough of this game. It is playable, but somehow the... Somehow the... Ooh, what's that? Makarov. Uh, the lights some, sometimes uh, pass through the lighting effects like there see they pass through walls and I'm gonna have to check if this is a PPSS PP issue or if there's something that we can change in the settings that um, I don't know that uh, there's anything that we can change here because it's already uh, it's already uh, set up so it might be an emulation compatibility issue uh, but yeah it plays well you just have to oh I died you just have to ignore the uh, light lighting effects passing through walls it, uh, I, I do admit it can get pretty distracting All right, didn't know that. Oh All right. I thought uh, that would uh, do it, but weird. Okay, so yeah, Siphon Filter Dark Mirror originally released on the PlayStation Portable. Uh, that's how it plays on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. Performance is good at 1x resolution. Uh, at 2x, we didn't get to see it, but trust me, there will be some uh, frame rate dips. And those um, lighting effects passing through walls are uh, a little bit distracting in spec. Yeah. Alright, so hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have any PlayStation Portable game requests that you want me to test, let me know and I'll add it to the list. 
Once again, this is Al from TheGamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video. Yeah, see, very Metal Gear-ish.